we're a school that um, most of the curriculum is student driven. And so we certainly encourage, you know, we try to draw out what their interests are and what their skills are starting, you know, from the start. Sometimes those are things that are uh, going to lead to a purpose. Sometimes, you know, like art. Uh, we have one of our, our first our first four year graduate who is now also our first college graduate draws graphic novels now and because that was that was her passion um she ended up going to the savannah college of art and design which again was kind of a unusual school and worked really well for her like for a student like her who's really into art and that's kind of her her jam uh to say what the kids say we would say like you know well you're doing a project that's on science but you can use your illustrating to make it yours so that it it's it's not just about you know it's not just about like learning the parts of a cell it's you know making it yours um and it's not just about everybody doing some food edible cell <laughs> or whatever i mean i guess i would say that we're we have open minds to whatever you know the student proposes something as and we and they're interested in thinking back uh i had another student who thought they were really interested in being um a vet and they did some like job shadowing of 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 that because they did a project on it and they learned that like they had no interest whatsoever in in doing that and that was really important (laughs) and then we have students that uh i think don't think that they have a purpose um and don't know because they just haven't even thought about it and those kids take a really long time because they haven't especially if they've been really good at traditional school. So we, we, we end up attracting students of all kinds. Um, at the beginning, I think this is kind of typical, at least in Wisconsin for uh, public charter schools, is that they are pigeonholed as kind of the alternative school. Um, and so it's, a, it's I, I used to describe it as like kids are uh, choosing it for what it's not instead of what it is. Um, so it's not the traditional school, so we're choosing it. Um, so we want to go there because we don't like the traditional school as opposed to we want to go there because it's project-based because we get to go outside 